Fans Beyond Wrestling, this is Denver, Colorado. The man, not the place. Taking you to a tag match from the ringleaders taping. The Academy of Anatomy, Nick Town and Mark Angel going up against KJ Crush and Matt Tremont. And these guys have very quickly become good friends. Two big, ugly beat em up types going to be going up against the Pretty Boys. Of course, Mark Angel undefeated so far in competition here at Beyond Wrestling. Nick Talent has not had an easy go the past couple months. It seemed like he was finally on track teaming up with Anthony Stone until he faced Chris Dickinson at the Gospel of the Boards taping, who just knocked him right off the rails. One kick to the back of the head, enough to give Nick Talent not only a concussion, but to slip a disc in his neck. Nick Talent had to take some time off, made his return at the Miracle Workers event. That's where we saw Matt Tremont make his debut, pushing Devin Moore to his limit, the CCW World Champion. So certainly a Styles contrast coming into this match. All teams with something to prove. Mark Angel's gonna be looking to keep that undefeated streak intact. But I don't know if he's gonna be able to do so, but if Nick Talent gets pinned, that's gonna be it. It's a tag team match. I mean, Mark Angel not only concerned for himself, but his partner, who again is probably not coming into this contest, at 100%. And there you see Matt Tremont, not too well versed in the technical wrestling, just using brute force to pick away at the arm of Nick Talent. Now Nick Talent tagging in Mark Angel. Talent coming underneath that arm, sweeping out the legs, and trying to pop the elbow in the opposite direction across his bad neck. Not sure how wise of a maneuver it was, but it was certainly effective. Of course, the Academy of Anatomy is still somewhat in its relative infancy. These guys have only teamed a few times. And I believe this is the first time that Matt Tremont and KJ Crush have ever teamed. KJ Crush, one of the most agile members of the Beyond Wrestling roster, despite all of the weight he's carrying, makes it very difficult for his opponents to prepare for him because he hits maneuvers that you would never expect in a million years. Now Angel trying to keep Tremont grounded. Tremont able to get that side head scissor applied. Now just using his size and strength to keep Mark Angel subdued. But look at the athleticism out of the ultimate athlete. Able to pop out of that maneuver right back up to his feet. Tremont having a tag in. KJ Crush. KJ Crush, just another big, ugly, dirty individual. He's had a few run-ins with Jarek 120 over the past couple months. Now that he's put that behind him, trying to build some momentum and a win here over Nick Talent and Mark Angel. Give Mark Angel his first ever loss here in Beyond Wrestling. That would certainly be a feather in his cap. And look at the way that KJ Crush was able to transition into this ankle lock. Perhaps we've underestimated the technical ability of KJ Crush and Matt Tremont. Back up to that arm. It keeps opponent in place so Mark Angel can tag in. Now we see the hammer lock and the side headlock. And the Academy of Anatomy literally wrestling circles around their opponents. Mark Angel running right into that back elbow from KJ Crush, in, unable to get out of the way of that. Angel back up to his feet, but he's backing himself into the wrong part of town. Got hit right in the back of the head from Tremont. Now Tremont's out of the way, able to sweep Angel off his feet, and just comes running into that rolling elbow. Only a two count. You know, KJ Crush, Biting the face of his opponent. He's going to be careful because he's certainly going to be risking disqualification. Being forced to break the hole before the official counts to five. Now just choking away at Mark Angel on the ropes. And tagging in Matt Tremont. Again, it's not too difficult to see the strategy of Matt Tremont and KJ Crush. These guys are just going to use their size to their advantage to wear down their opponents. And Tremont, about 300 pounds, coming flying across the ring. And just sent him into the big boot of KJ Crush. A bit of a miscommunication, unsure who the legal man was. 
And that cost him because they could have had Mark Angel beat right there. His first ever loss here at Beyond Wrestling. Now Tremont with that rear chin lock applied. And there you see Aurora Demore on the outside accompanying the Academy of Nanner to ringside for this contest this evening. I would be surprised to see her get physically involved. Still gonna be rooting on Mark Angel and Nick Talent nevertheless. There we saw Tremont go to the eyes to pull Mark Angel down to the mat before talking some trash. Instead of going for the pin, he's got something else in mind. Bringing him to his corner just to send him across the ring. Comes charging with that clothesline. Another quick tag to KJ Crush. KJ Crush trying to coordinate some double team offense. And the back body drop sending Mark Angel into the lights. And it looks like he came down hard on that leg. Favoring his left hamstring as he landed on the mat. And KJ Crush just stepping on his face. Such a good ass wiggle. Like one of the best of all time. KJ Crush, now the headbutt. Got to be careful to keep Mark Angel on his side of the ring. They've been effective so far in cutting the ring in half. But Angel, perhaps this is the opening he needed with that Russian leg sweep. KJ Crush, quick to make the tag. And Angel, that was a mistake right there. Angel's trying to wrestle this match all on his own because of his injured tag team partner. But he needs to tag out to Nick Talent because he's in trouble right there. And that might have been the last of the energy in reserve to take the big man overhead with that belly to back suplex. And now as Angel's going to leap across the ring, KJ Crush knocking Talent off the apron and Tremont keeping him in position. And Tremont and KJ Crush bending the rules to their advantage, risking disqualification all the while. Just a straight shot from that Tremont. What an incredible striker this guy is. Tremont really making a name for himself on the deathmatch scene. But we're seeing just how good of a wrestler he is. At this point, too intimidating special guest referee Aaron Epic. I mean, we assigned another official to this contest because we knew it was going to get out of hand. Somebody that was a wrestler, hoping that he would be able to keep things in order, but the four of these competitors, it's just been a mess. And here KJ Crush continuing to run his mouth, taunting Mark Angel. Angel fighting back. This is the most trouble we've ever seen him in a Beyond Wrestling ring. Trying to pick up KJ Crush, but KJ Crush living up to his name. Proving to be too heavy and just crushing Mark Angel. But instead of going for the pin, he's going to continue to wear him down by trying to take the oxygen away from him. Going right for the throat. And it doesn't matter how much time you spend in a gym, how many muscles you have, there are always going to be certain points on the human body that are vulnerable in the throat, the eyes. Those are areas Matt Tremont and KJ Crush have targeted the entire match to continue the advantage. Oh, now just that chest breaker. And Tremont looking to come off the ropes. And leap in the air just to drop that elbow. Looks like Crush and Tremont are effective in targeting the midsection. That's where Mark Angel gets all that core strength for some of those overhead throws. Tell you what, Tremont is one of the scariest individuals we've ever seen here at Beyond Wrestling. He will go to any lengths to inflict punishment on his opponent. No regard for his own individual well-being. They were seen missing twice. And he's going to be up to his feet before Angel. And just kick him right in the ribs. Send an Angel back into the wrong part of town. I'm not sure if this is the strategy that Tremont and Crush came into this match with. Or if this is just how things unfolded to their benefit. But really looking to target the midsection of Mark Angel. And Angel trying to roll to the floor to get some separation. There you see those kicks stunning Tremont. Now trying to use that second rope to pull himself up. But he's caught. Oh, just sent throat first again into that bottom rope. The pendulum swinging in the favor of Matt Tremont, who had the leg hooked. But Angel's on it too. Now once again tagging in KJ Crush. It's going to be over five minutes that Mark Angel has been feeling the effects of the two-on-one offense. 
Big talent given all the time in the world to recover on the outside. You can tell because KJ Crush targeted him right there. Towns trying to get in the ring, trying to get the attention of the official. But instead of putting up a big stink, calming himself down, and that was a good move. We know that we know that talent has a problem with his temper. If he continued to distract the official, that could have allowed for some more two-on-one illegal offense from the team of Tremont and Crush. So it's a good thing that Talent was able to collect himself. And you see Talent and Aurora Demore on the outside trying to rally Mark Angel up to his feet, trying to help him get that second win. But Tremont and Crush have just done a number on him. Angel able to duck under the clothesline, the drop kick to the midsection. He sees Tremont come and charge it in. He should have been making the tag right there. That was an opportunity that was wasted again to make the tag. And again, I think that Mark Angel perhaps knows more about the condition of Nick Talent's neck than we do because he's doing a lot to protect his partner in this match. Again, the energy to send his opponent overhead. Tremont's on it too. Angel needs to tag out right now. I don't know the condition of Nick Talent's neck. I have to think that if he's competing, he's been cleared by a doctor, he may not be at 100%, but Mark Angel cannot wrestle this match all by himself, especially against two opponents, the caliber of Matt Tremont and KJ Crush. I think Angel finally realizing that after all the energy it took to send Tremont overhead, he's finally going to the corner of Nick Talent. But he made a mistake, his foot was too close to Tremont. And again, Tremont, this guy is somebody who has a history of taking a beating. He can just eat it like it's nobody's business. I mean, we're about 10 minutes or more into this contest, and Tremont is fresh as a daisy. I've never seen anybody that can withstand punishment the way that the bulldozer can. Tremont is a specimen unlike anything else we've ever seen at Beyond Wrestling. Just a total freak. A glutton for punishment. See though, not as much impact behind those strikes at the start of the match. You have to wonder if the conditioning has anything to do with it. Again, the longer this match goes, as you've got to think that it's going to favor the Academy of Anatomy just based on their conditioning alone. But they, then again, the longer this match goes, perhaps it's going to favor Tremont and Crush just because they've been targeting Mark Angel for such a long period of time while staying fresh themselves. There we really see the concern out of Aurora Demore. Still doing whatever she can to rally the Academy of Anatomy. I don't know how many more opportunities Mark Angel is going to be able to create for himself for that opening. Again, the elbow, just all the body's weight coming down. Two. Oh, that was a close one. Nick Talent still abiding by the rules on the apron. You're going to wonder if that's some of the influence that we've seen from Anthony Stone, although we have not seen Anthony Stone in a Beyond Wrestling ring in quite some time. Although Anthony Stone did give his blessing for Nick Talent and Mark Angel to team, and Angel finally able to connect with the body slam, but that's it. Barely even stirring at this point. There you see him holding his chest and his midsection. Again, the, the amount of strength from the core that it must have taken for him to be able to lift KJ Crush, another 300 plus pound opponent off the mat to slam him down. It looks like Angel's finally tagging in Nick Talent. We'll see how his neck's holding up. Out of the way of two clotheslines, coming off the ropes, and able to get the drop kick, taking both of his opponents down. Now sizing up KJ Crush. Get out of the way of the clothesline, goading him into that situation, just to dump him on his head. Now just charged into Matt Tremont. A slap to the face, a second, a third. Nick Talent is unloaded on him, and Tremont's just eating him off. Oh, that last one right there, that caught him in the ear. Tremont's in trouble right here. Talent comes charging in with a body attack. I don't think Tremont knows where he is right now. Stumbling around. Talent running right out of the way. He's going to try and position himself on that second rope. Tremont still stumbling around on spaghetti legs. One of those shots caught him in the ear. Really screwed up his equilibrium. Ooh, this guy's a monster. What are you, he just got knocked down. He's back up on his feet again. Talent knowing that. Trying to position him in the corner. Again, building momentum running across the ring. And now connecting with a shot to the back of the head. Now Talent's going to be climbing to that top rope. Once he got mine here, perhaps another double knee. No, instead he's trying to pull Tremont up, up there with him. Talent to no man's land. I don't know how good of a job he's going to be able to do muscling Tremont from that position. 
Uh, you gotta think that Tremont's gonna be looking to counter with a suplex or something. As Angel comes charging, he gets caught with another shot to the chest. And I mean, Tremont is not going anywhere. Talent's struggling to find leverage, but, oh no! He just got back body drop again onto the chest and the legs of Mark Angel. Angel's trying to roll out of the ring right there. And KJ Crush now focusing all of his attention on Nick Talent. Again, Talent coming to this match with a bad neck. These are two guys he does not want to be alone in the ring with. And now we see the strength on display from Tremont and Crush. But Talent able to slip out the back door. Tremont goes into KJ Crush. One, two, three. The Academy of Anatomy stealing a victory here. And Nick Talent making sure that Mark Angel's undefeated streak staying intact. 